setting up a custom backup strategy. And what we've done is we've put together, I want to say three, maybe four of our ideal schedules. And I'm even going to walk you through how to set them up in Nova Backup um, and what it looks like and, and what kind of storage might look like. Um, so the first one that we really love here is a rotating biweekly schedule. Um, this is what we refer to as the best method. So if you call our support team, uh, you, you get in touch with Jack. I'm not sure if you, any of you have had the opportunity to talk to him. Um, and you ask him, what is his perfect scheduling method to maintain, you know, the, the best, uh, the best data integrity to maintain the best number of versions to, um, just, just the safest overall backup method. And he's going to tell you this. He's going to talk about the rotating biweekly schedule. Um, so it is a little complex to configure. And again, I'll show you a little bit of what that looks like because you are scheduling a total of 12 jobs. Um, it does allow for USB rotation uh, without job failures. So sometimes we see customers that they set up a couple different jobs and they, they just assume that um, on week one, all of the backup jobs that would target a specific USB drive are just going to fail because that USB drive is now off-site. This particular job configuration uh, does not fail so long as uh, you know so long as your USB drives are available when the backup jobs trigger, and it does allow you to rotate a USB job uh, or USB drive you know off-site. Which you know when you talk about data again when you talk about data restoration. If your building burns down and, and you've done 100 backups, but you can't get to any of the drives, those 100 backups might, not, might as well have not happened. And the way that this is configured, the way that we do this, and I'm going to show you how to do it, is that it, it kind of has automatic retention sort of built into the logic of, this, uh, of the, the scheduling. Um, so it, it is a little counterintuitive at first. Uh, you, you do need to be very, very careful about a couple of pieces here. You want to make sure that you're using uh, the save as command uh, rather than the save command. And again, if, if this doesn't make sense to you, we're about to go do a live demo. Um, and we, you also want to make sure that you're using overwrite. So that's, that, that's what brings into the, uh, the automatic retention concept. Uh, this does have a large amount of data usage. You are effectively maintaining two full uh, sets of data uh, constantly. But again, if you can't restore data, what good is your backup? I, I can't repeat that enough. So what does this look like uh, in, a, in a visualization sense? This is, uh, this is my best way of trying to interpret what this might look like to uh, to a customer. And so you can see here, let's see if we can outline stuff. Uh, so you can see that the, uh, this for, so you're going to have, uh, basically you're going to have these six jobs right here. Uh, and these six jobs run on week one. And so you're going to have a full backup on Sunday. You're going to have a differential on Monday, a differential on Tuesday, a differential on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And these differentials, Monday is going to contain every change since Sunday. Tuesday is going to contain every change since Sunday. Wednesday since Sunday. Thursday since Sunday. And this is going to give you this the, the best possible backup method for week one. Uh, normally what we see is folks, they, they just immediately begin to overwrite things they go week one and it's the same job that runs on week two it's the same job that runs on week three and that's that's fine but it does introduce the problem of you know if uh if a scheduled backup job uh we we saw this with one of our customers and luckily we were able to to go in and help him out um but his uh you know he wasn't doing this this alternating uh you know it was the same job running each week so his uh his target NAS drive um, failed right right at Friday, Saturday afternoon sometime. Um, and then his source data was also on that NAS drive. So it was kind of going from one one folder to another folder. It was a uh, was full it was photo backups and things of that nature. He was just maintaining two separate shares for versions. Um, and the NAS drive sort of crashed. He got it back online, but he only got one half of it back online. And when the full backup on Sunday reran itself, 
uh, because there's no way for our backup software to know that your NAS drive has died, it automatically overwrote his full backup. Uh, luckily, we had another copy of it by accident, but um, that's the danger by not having these backups uh, flip flop. So, so do uh, the bi weekly. If, if something happens to your source data and the full backup or any one of those differentials begins to try to back up, you know, you're going to end up with a very small backup file and you're not going to have the data that you expect it to have. Um, so what, what we do here is we recommend, you know, this, this backup job is the same as week three's backup job. Um, and week two's backup job is the same as week four's backup job. Obviously we'd see another set down there. And so what does this look like in Nova backup? Um, this is probably a very difficult to see, <laughs> uh, very, very difficult to see image. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch over here real quick. Um, we are going to switch over to the actual Nova backup that I've done this with, and you guys should be able to see this now. Uh, and you can see if we sort by the run dates here, uh, you can see that we have We've already run a week one full. This one's scheduled to run about two weeks from now. Uh, you can see that it's on uh, July 27th. Um, we have a Monday that's coming up on the 14th. We have Tuesday on the 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th. On the 20th, we have a full. And then 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 4th, 5th. And then on the 27th, this one will run again. And then these five will restart themselves. Um, so this is, you know, we've got these, we've got these 12 jobs. Uh, if you go into any one of these jobs, so let's, let's take a look at the, the full backup here and we go to modify job, we can hit settings and you can see that it is an overwrite and it is a full. And then if we go, let's go back to one of the differentials here and modify the job. And you go into the settings, you can see that it is an overwrite and a differential. So week one is overwriting itself each time it runs, but it only ever runs every two weeks. So what I was talking about a minute ago with being careful on the save as commands, um, let's, let's go ahead and we're going to schedule a Monday to a Monday or a Monday to a Tuesday. Um, we're going to click new here and it's going to, it's going to prompt us. We're just going to say, no, we don't want to save it. Um, and I'm going to select my, let's select my, my documents folder here. Actually, let's, let's select my, my downloads folder here. Um, I'm going to click back up to, and I'm going to put it on my local drive and I'm going to call it, um, Monday full. And I'm going to name it here, backup name. I'm going to call it Monday full. Um, I'm going to go into settings real quick. I'm going to, I'm turning off open file backup just because it takes a little bit of time to, um, just takes a little bit of time to snap. I would not recommend ever doing this uh, to your your backups unless it's very specific, unless you call us and we tell you to, to take it off. Uh, this allows you to get copies of files that are uh, currently open. So, you know, Excel spreadsheets that are open or anything like that. And you can see here that it is a it is a overwrite and it is a full backup job. So we're going to click OK. We're going to hit the save button and it's gonna call itself Monday-Full. So now we have this Monday full, and I, let's, let's say I'm one of you and I, I wanna say, I, okay, let's, let's use this same file selection and let's go ahead and create my Tuesday differential backup. Um, so I'm gonna come up here, I'm gonna say instead of Tuesday, Monday full, we're gonna call it Tuesday full, or Tuesday diff, sorry. And we're going to click on backup two, and we're going to change it here. We're going to call it Tuesday full as well, or Tuesday differential as well. And we're going to go into the settings and we're going to say, okay, let's, let's do append and let's do differential. And we're going to click okay. Now, if you're not careful at this point, what will happen if you come up here and you hit just this save job button, it's actually going to overwrite all of the settings for your Monday full job. Um, and it will, it will overwrite it with a differential. So what we would want to do rather than just hitting this save button, we'd want to, you know, click into the Nova store end there. And then 
you can see here where where it said say save Monday full. We don't want to save it as Monday full. We want to save this as a new file. And so when you click save as, it's going to automatically fill this in with the backup name, which is Tuesday diff. And now we click save. And now we have two different jobs. So if again, I'm not sure if you guys saw that folder there, uh, but you can see that I have all of these different backup jobs that are scheduled. I have individual uh, backup jobs there, which are, you know, that's very important to have. So um, these are your different backup jobs, 12 different backup jobs that you're running there, um, 12 different schedules. It is a little complex to get it all set up, but like I said, this is this is what we recommend. This is this is the absolute best way to maintain that your customer's data is as safe as possible. And like and uh, like I said, if if a customer feels safe about their backup jobs, then they're gonna they're gonna keep buying software. They're gonna trust you and keep going. And if uh, you know, we talked about storage and storage space, things of that nature. Uh, what it what it looks like. Um, on the on the disk, you can see here that we have a we have a week one full backup. This so it's 870 megs. You can see that our Monday diff, you know, it kind of grew as I added files to it. And then our week two full, this was actually last week's full. You can see is the eighth and uh, this machine is set forward a little bit to the 14th. Um, so this was our old full. And you can see that there's been a couple files that got added here on Thursday, Friday. And then the new full that ran uh, just a day ago on this machine was uh, you know, included all of that plus everything else. So uh, the storage is pretty significant. Each one carries a lot of data with it, um, but it's it really is the best way of handling this. And like I said, you could have uh, week one targeting a specific drive and week two targeting a different drive. You could have them both targeting the same drive letter. That way you plug in both USB drives and they both get, you know, one they both get e drive whenever they're plugged in you just target the e drive or something like that and uh one thing that we are really focusing on like i said is we we're focusing on making these scheduling systems and backup retention and rotation uh significantly easier for you guys so if you do have requests if you have uh, if you want to if you want to ping our product team at the end of this webinar at the end of this certification there is going to be a small survey where it's a kind of a fill in the blank field. You can, you can talk back to us. And if you want to talk to me specifically, we can talk uh, on the phone and, and get your feedback and input for the future of Nova backup there. Uh, so we're going to head back to the, the presentation here. Um, we should be on, yep. Rotating biweekly. So that's what you guys were just taking a look at. And now we're going to move on to a different schema, uh, which is the two week differential schedule. Uh, this is what we refer to as our kind of our second best solution. You know, if you don't want to really deal with um, rotating drives or anything like that, and you just want to create a folder and and go from there, you know, that's that's a okay in our books. We still do always, like I said, we always recommend differential unless you're really squeezed for storage space. Um, it is a good solution for single drive installations. It is a significantly simpler configuration. There's only three scheduled jobs, one full back, full backup job that is append, one different back differential backup job that is append, and, and then one retention job with whatever you want to set. And then the retention job, rather than the schedules themselves, is what's handling the cleaning out of the older data. Um, so it is a smaller footprint. You know, you're only going to have a certain amount of data. It's not going to rotate uh, biweekly. It's um, there's only one full, sometimes two, depending on how the retention goes. Um, and it and that means that it is slightly less safe, but it is still a very very safe configuration. And so that looks a little bit like this if you were to draw it out. Um, so you can see here we have a, a Sunday that is full size, uh, the Monday that contains both Sunday and Monday. Tuesday that contains Sunday through Tuesday. Uh, and again, you can just see that these build themselves up. And you can see differential N1, 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 N1. So these are all week one. Um, and then the same schedule, because you're using the append command rather than overwrite, you're actually going to come up with a, a secondary set of data. You're going to have N2s. Um, and then on Saturday here, this retention job is going to run. And it's going to say, OK, I only need six versions. So I'm only going to keep anything that's in the N2 differential, and I'm going to wipe out everything that's in N1. Um, 
which this is where the slightly less safe data configuration comes in. You're not um, you're not maintaining the um, you're not maintaining that older set of data, and it is a kind of a delete function rather than an overwrite function. It's it's really up to you guys what you want to do from a almost a preference standpoint between this one and the first rotation that we gave you. Uh, this one's kind of an easier way to go. So if you don't want to deal with the 12 different schedules, this can still get you about 90% of the way there. And then, uh, you know, retention, because this is slightly different, you know, we're not having the schedules themselves retent out objects. Uh, you can see this is our, our retention set setting here. Um, if you just click on retention in the application, you're, you're just going to get this prompt. Once you save the job, you actually will need to schedule it. So you can see that we have the retention job actually scheduled to run weekly on, on Saturdays. This does not automatically happen. So if you just come into the retention tab and, and put a bunch of data in here or tell it that it's every two weeks with a minimum of six, that's not going to really help you very much. Uh, you need to, I mean, you can run it, but it's not going to run on a schedule. You need to go back in and add yourself a, another schedule and go from there. Uh, I think this is our last uh, version, the, the last recommendation on backup scheduling configuration. Um, it is a decent solution. Um, they are the, it is a smaller or the smallest storage footprint. Uh, it is also the most susceptible to data failure. Uh, because each incremental is based off of the last one that was performed, um, it's, it means that each one needs to be there in order to maintain your chain of incrementals. So maintain your backup chain. Um, if you, if you have in this situation, if you have the Sunday backup and the only other backup that you have is the one that ran on Thursday, you're missing any changes, uh, Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday. Um, which is, you know, obviously that's not good. It is the same basic configuration. Uh, oh, this should say incremental here of uh, this, the three, three scheduled, uh, but it is the same basic configure configuration as the two-week differential. You're going to have three scheduled jobs. You're going to have one full in a pen. You're going to have one incremental in a pen and one retention. You can even change this full to an overwrite uh, for, for more, even more storage uh, consideration. And then again, the retention job is going to handle cleaning out the old data. Uh, very similar to what we had there. Uh, if you're If you're dealing with this particular configuration, you're going to have you can see here that Monday changes, Tuesday changes. You know, you're not getting all the data all the way back. Um, like I said, that does in, that does introduce a layer of data insecurity. And if you were to, for example, if you were to, to have the full set to overwrite, uh, you would actually only ever have one copy of this full and then a bunch of small chunks and segments there. 